hey guys welcome to my youtube channel took me long to do this however i want to thank you all for the support for all the subscribers you gave me even before i uploaded a video does that mean you that we're waiting for this is mainly going to be about my hair journey and my makeup tutorials and because i'm the, i'm gonna do quite a lot of makeup tutorials i've got someone else to do my makeup for this video which is beauty by Faye. her name's gonna be right here uh, so follow her on Instagram to get your face looking, you know. Uh, so yeah, I've got quite a lot to tell you guys. And today's topic is, I lost my edges, so what did I do? I'm going to let you guys know everything I've done in order to get my edges looking the way they're looking right now. Guys! It was deep. I was going through depression. I was crying. I didn't want to leave my house. My edges, not there. I give up. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Obviously, had to do quite a lot. So I decided to do my big chop and um, a few things that have helped me. Custard oil. I also bought an applicator from the hair shops and it has a little bit of castor oil inside. So, what I do is apply every night, every morning to my hair, massage it about 10 minutes, and praying tongs. Tell God I want you to bring my edges back. And um, it's been four months, guys, and my edges have made a progress compared to what it was before. Let me show you. Yep, the reaction you might have had, that's a reaction I had. Listen, my heart was gone. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. So I obviously started treating my hair and instead of always like relaxing my hair, because I kept relaxing my hair like all the time. It was, con it was a constant thing. Like I couldn't stay without relaxing my hair. But relaxing, 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 relaxing without even treating my hair, obviously it would break what was i thinking about i don't know myself so um i obviously became a can two candidate i only like go for can two products so make sure that your branding you don't change it all the time make sure that you just stick to one brand please because um, your hair might be used to obviously Cantu products, but you're always changing it to different ones like olive oil or whatever there is. So just make sure you stick to one brand. That's very helpful. Another thing that helps me is sleeping caps, which you might call shower caps. I sleep with them. I do not sleep with my edges in the pillow anymore. On the pillow anymore. I do not sleep with my edges on the pillow anymore because your pillowcase might be rough sometimes to the point it rips your edges away. I'm not putting myself in the position to not have edges anymore. So, sleeping caps did the way forward. Um, I wear wigs as well. Wigs is something that has helped me a lot. I never thought I would wear a wig, but as long as you get your wig done by the right person oh girl you're on the right way so make sure you obviously get your wigs done by the right person don't make them look too trash make them look good and natural obviously um so wigs is something that's been helping me so i wear a wig throughout the whole week which enables me to kind of treat my hair apply my oil during the night and during the morning before i put the wig obviously and before i take it off and before i take it off so um make sure that you let your hair breathe if you're trying to grow your edge let your hair breathe don't be like me because what i used to do was literally braid my hair or like do tight cornrows leave it for a week two weeks take it out leave it leave my natural hair out for one week and then braid it again that's manipulation 
that is manipulation please understand that's something i never used to understand so it's fine if you don't but you need to start understanding that edges is something you need to take care of because it's just disgusting not having edges as you look so in the picture that i showed you um yeah so during the weekends i let my hair breathe a bit more so what i do is um use my eco gel that has castor oil in it um to obviously do this type of hairstyles i've got right now it's not tight at all because i've got like a really large elastic band so what i do is just tie it around don't make it too tight because obviously it will obviously put pressure on your edges and that's what you do not want to do um and yeah like my future videos will be about tips to you guys how i call wash it how whatever so just make sure you subscribe you share you like you comment